Hey, hey, I'm Sharp. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Pisces. Pisces, I got some, I got some good feelings. But I've got a mix of very, very odd feelings. Like something real good is coming. But are you going to know it? It's almost like something feels like it opportunity comes that can almost be unnoticed. I don't know, something like that. Cheers. All we can do is drink a coffee to it. Almost like Can you feel it in order to find it? What does that mean? Spirit, what does that mean? Can you feel it to find it? Well, let's pull a Psychic Tarot Oracle card. Psychic Tarot Oracle card by John Holland. God love you, John. How you doing this morning? Let's see what a couple of oracle cards might have to say about this feeling. Let's put this feeling into the deck. Let's see what we can find here. Pisces. Feel it to find it. Feel it to find it. Feel it to find it. That's your homework. Come on. What does that mean? Feel it to find it. Come on, Pisces. Mm. Halloween's over. I think in the United States, you guys have uh, Thanksgiving Day coming up. And, and then there's Christmas. Christmas, what a fantastic freaking time. Thanksgiving is a day to give thanks. Our family to come together to give thanks. To thank universe thank god almighty your maker for the things that you have and to give thanks for the things you don't have here's wisdom let's give him a break good morning spirit what do we have, my friends? What do we have? Balance. Balance. What does that mean? Oh. What? Oh, what does that mean? It is number two. Let's find out where number two is. Balance. Where is it? Where is it? This card does not exist here. Maybe it's an 11. Is it an 11? No, there are no 11s. What is going on? Okay, you knew it's not here. It's not here. Okay. It's not a number two. It's not an 11. There are no 11s. Oh, there's an 11. Oh, there it is. Balance. Oh, it does exist. Well, we feel it to find it. And it's on page 47. Wow, 47, 47. Come on, spirit. Feel it to find it. 45, 47, balance. It'll be written in the description box below so that you can 
read it on your own. Get me a magic wand and let's see what it says. Balance. This card represents the need for balance and harmony with your inner life, as well as with what's surrounding you in the physical world. Ooh. It's like an alien. It's like a craft. This denotes that some lifestyle adjustments are required at this time. It could be associated with love, relationships, business, or even your career. Yes, let's turn the page. Turn the page. The balance card is also being shown to you to make you realize that what you perceive to be happening around you is really an externalization of an inner process or conflict that you may be currently experiencing. So what we have, what we experience on our inside world, we can bring into our outside world. The vibrations that we have, we can give to the universe and we can also call in, in our outside world. Our inner conflict can become conflict. This card will often appear if you work in the legal field or when you're involved in law-related matters. Have faith that justice will triumph as justice and karma go freaking hand in hand. Yes, yes. Take only what you've earned. Treat people fairly and don't take advantage of anyone. This is all part of living a balanced karmic life. When determining, determining something, there must be a state of balance emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually so that you can make rational decisions and logical judgments. This is a time to be honest and caring and responsible for the choices that you've made. Ding dong, ding 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 ding, that you've made as well as the ones that will be made in the future. Traditional tarot card would be the justice card. Justice, karmic card, balance, feel defined. Damn, while we're here, we got some oracles in front of us. Let's pull a spirit junkie card by, by Gabrielle Bernstein. Good morning, Gabrielle. Good morning, darling. Balance, Pisces, balance. Feel defined. Spirit is sending it out to you. Feel defined. Love it. Feel to find. It's a great mystery. It's exciting times. A new year is pulling in soon. Exciting. Exciting times. Come on, Pisces. Come on. Come on. Understand. Feel to find. Come on, spirit. Give him a cut. What we got? Mm, what do we got? Upside down. My productivity stems from inspiration. When I focus on what brings me joy, my tasks become effortless actions. Yes, my tasks become effortless actions. Feel to find balance. Gonna be a hell of a reading. Let's go, Pisces. We're going to the Hermetic deck. Immediately they hit the floor. It's right in the middle, you know, right in the middle. I'm going to kind of pick it up. New beginnings, Ace of Wands. Right in the middle, standing at the crossroads, right in the middle. New beginnings. The Hermetic deck. Hermetic tarot. Pisces. Something. 
something is just right there. I can feel it. It's right there. You might actually even be feeling, you might be feeling kind of numb, kind of, like this, <laughs> floating. Are you floating, Pisces? Just float, darling, float. Float, and while you're floating, feel. And while you're feeling, find, balance, effortless actions. Come on, let's freaking get her on. Let's get her done, Pisces, come on. Let's go, Pisces. Ace of Wands hit the floor, standing at the crossroads, brand new beginnings. King of Pentacles, money, 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 money. If this is a person, this is someone who is tight-fisted. This is someone, oh, I think I'll buy that car, but I got to research it online. I got to find out everything about it before I buy it. Could take a year to buy that car. Got to look everywhere, search and search and search before that purchase is made. Money. And when we're at the top of the ladder with the king, the six of swords, walking away, leaving, going for calmer water, new beginnings. Money management, looking for calmer waters. Float, Pisces. Just keep floating, darling. If you're feeling, if you're feeling this video, float. Pisces can float. You don't have to be swimming. You don't have to be two going past each other. Just float, darling. Four swords, heal. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Spirit, you're talking to me. One more card. Tower. There's a loss here. And it doesn't have to be love. It can be career. It can be bank account. It can be something that was worth an asset. Something like a, a car, loss of a car, loss of a home, loss of something that was an asset. Going to calmer waters, this loss caused a tower to come into you. This loss has made you feel with the tower, it made you feel like crap. It made you feel numb. It made you feel pain, suffering, confusion. But there's a new beginning. With the King of Pentacles. Spirit. This new beginning, Pisces, let's, let's speak spirit. Let's not speak cards, let's speak spirit. It's past tense. It's not what is to come. It has already come, this new beginning. And you left, you left it because there was a loss of asset. It seems so good at first with the King of Pentacles before you left this whole brand new beginning that you went on, that journey that you went on seemed so enriching, seemed like, this is it, this is what I've been looking for, I'm happy, I'm blessed, and then getting out of Dodge, going to the other side, going to calmer, safer waters, safer, why safer, why'd that word come in, calmer, safer waters, it seemed like it was so blessed, healing from some sort of loss. The possibility that Pisces could right now be in the tower. The 
speak spirit here. Put the cards together. Feel to find. Feel. Feel like I read. The cards are there, but feel spirit to read them. Feel to find the reading. Feel to find the reading. Pisces. Your message today is feel to find. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name this video feel to find. Come on. Balance. Your tasks become effortless actions. Balance. The magician. Damn. Come on, Pisces. The magician. What's happening? The king of swords. So a lot of a lot of thought, a lot of thought in the tower over something that you thought was freaking fantastic, over something that you thought was the king of pentacles, over something that ended up you heal, having to heal from some sort of a loss. Not only was the loss of a whole brand new beginning that you thought was freaking fantastic, was the loss of an asset. A home. With the magician and the great thinker here. This is the thinking man. The king himself of sorts. The magician. Magic. The magician. The magician in you. Float Pisces and understand the reading. The High Priestess. Come on, guys. The High Priest. The High Priestess. Pisces. What is happening here? I am tingling. Spirit is alive in me today because something is happening. Spirit, feeling spirit to find out what's going on. Come on, Pisces, do the same thing. Feel to find. Get rid of this. If you're in there, get rid of that. Stop wasting your life on that. Stop wasting your time, your valuable efforts. Stop wasting you. Nine of Pentacles. Freaking tickety-boo, baby. So what is this thinking? What is this manifesting? What is this great magician, this wizard? What is this thinking man? What? What is it? The high priestess, the high priest, using your intuition. Tickety-boo card coming in, clearing out the head. Coming out of the tower, clearing out the head. Clearing out the inner garden. All the bullshit you got there in that backyard. The backyard of the mind. All that crap. Look at it. Look into your backyard. It's time to plant. It's time to grow. It's time to nourish and to water. To feed. It's time to balance. It's time to realize that effortless actions bring results. Effortlessly. Actions come into play. Effortlessly. I don't have to do a damn thing. It just comes to me. I don't have to do a thing. Tickety freaking boo. Come on. Come on, high priest. Come on, high priestess. Use your intuition. You are the knower of secrets. You have everything within you. That's what the high priestess and the high priest is. Can you imagine going to a wizard who's stumbling around and, oh, well, where did I put this? Or where did I put that? Confused and, and not sure of what they're doing? No. No. They know. They freaking know. There's no confusion. There's secrets. I know secrets. What are these secrets? The secrets of your own mind. 
Come on, Pisces. Seven of Cups, options. What about them? Options. What do we get on options? What? What do we have in options? Much like the Justice cards. Mm. Much like Justice, two scales. Options. Scales. On one side, we have Tickety Boo. On the other side, we have Nine of Wands. What are your options, Pisces? There's your options right there. You can either use your High Priestess, use your Thinking Man, use your Magician that you were born with, and sometimes full of dust because you don't use it, wake up. You can either stay tickety-boo, become tickety-boo, or you can go back to Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands, as you know, is there, tower, and loss, new beginnings, done. The foolish man, nine of wands, foolish man. Listen to spirit, listen to the reading. Are you the foolish man? Options. Pain, heaviness, uncertainty, confusion, upset, crying, sadness, sorrow, suffering. How foolish. Think of it. How foolish. High priest, high priestess, tickety boo. What are your options? Those are your options. Those are your options, Pisces. Come on. Come on. Get her on, get her done. Let's go. Spirit. You're tickety boo today. Seven of Swords, deception. Ace of Pentacles, you deceive yourself of your own inner riches, ace of pentacles. You deceive yourself of your you. Carrying around somebody else's energy of what happened in the past. You deceive yourself, the seven of swords, deceiver. You lie to yourself. Ace of pentacles, blessings. You deceive yourself of your own freaking blessings. The Nine of Wands, a foolish man. Come on, Pisces. Come on. If you're in that tower, time to come out. Three of Pentacles, three of Cups. Ten of Swords. Were you married? Were you thinking of reunion? Did it not work? Did it not come? You know, sometimes when we try to bring something back and it doesn't come back, do you ever think that maybe it, that was meant to be? Use your magician skills. Use your intuition. Marriage, reception, Ending. Marriage, reception, ending. Painful ending. But understand, Pisces, what ending means. What does it mean? Does it mean maybe I'll still sit here and wait? No, it means done. Use your intuition. Float. Stop swimming everywhere. Stop being in such a big flurry of emotions and thought.
understand what ending means. Go through the tower, go through the pain, go through the suffering, go through whatever you've got to do to find you. And that's where you'll find you in circumstances that you cannot control. That's where you'll hear you. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands. Fight this Eight of Swords. Fight. Stand up and fight this unable, this inability to freaking move. But your mind is stuck in situations that you have no power over, that you have no control over. That they probably even said to your face, it's over, it's, it's done, stay away from me. But still, finding, even when someone comes to you and tells you to your face, it's done. Still, finding some kind of hope in that. Wake up, Pisces. End it. Fight this inability to move in your mind. And end this bullshit. End it. You are the high priestess. You are the high priest. You are the magician. Balance. Balance. Realize. My productivity stems from inspiration. When I focus on what brings me joy. Me. When I focus on what brings me joy. My tasks become effortless. You're right on the cusp. You're right there. Good things are coming, but it's up to you. Fight this inability to come out of your mind. Some kind of a, a beginning that you had with someone or something, something that brought you great joy and you thought, oh, this is wonderful. This is my dream come true. And then the dream friggin' shattered. Don't be trying to pick up the pieces and glue them back together. Because you'll never find all the pieces. You'll end up with jigs and jags. You'll never find every piece. Chariot. The sun. Feel to find. Move towards the sun. Once you end, once you come out of your mind and realize this is done, why am I still hanging on to this shit? There's seven of cups. I have options. I can sit here and be freaking miserable, crying and waiting and feeling like they're, they're going to come back even though they told me to, to go F myself or whatever. They're going to come back. End it. End this bullshit. Nine of Pentacles. Find yourself. Look out into your garden. Look at it. What's growing? Are there beautiful rose bushes? Is there a peacock in your garden? Or is there a crow, a raven, sitting there squawking and screaming? What are you going to put in your garden? The foolish man, and only the foolish man, is deceptive with their own blessings. How foolish are you, Pisces, that you deceive yourself of your own blessings, that you refuse to see the blessings that you have. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of freaking Pentacles. Not a four of Pentacles or a five. The Ace. The treasure chest itself right there. Being passed a Pentacle by the Divine. Here, Pisces. Here. Only the foolish man would deceive themselves to say, no, no thanks. 
speedy recovery to the sun. Come on. Health, healing, well-being, everything you want right there. Feeling the sun on your skin. Running with the wind. Accomplishment, success. Come on, Pisces. But it's up to you. Balance. And know that effortlessly everything will be yours. You know it. I know it. And you know spirit knows it. Feel to find, Pisces. Feel to find. So when you have to feel, feel it. Feel it. And in feeling it, you'll find. You'll find Pisces. Cancer, Leo. Cancer, Leo. The foolish man, I have no idea who the foolish man is. If it's much like the fool, it's not taking the leap. The foolish man, well, we'll call it an Aries. High Priestess is Pisces. King of Swords and the Magician is a Gemini. The Tower is an Aries. Pisces. Deep. Intense. Feel to find, darling. Eventually you're going to have to go there. Might as well go there now. Namaste.